As facial plastic and reconstructive surgeons, we concentrate exclusively on the face and neck. We spend all of our time trying to understand that area of the body that's so important to people because that's the part that we present to the world. It's the one part that we can't hide with clothing or other materials. It's the way that people identify us as who we are and understand our emotions that we're trying to convey. So as facial plastic surgeons, we take great pride in thinking exclusively about how to help patients, individuals present themselves best to the world through that area. Many patients come to me and ask me when they should start thinking about doing something for their face or neck to improve the appearance. And what I tell patients is, truly the best time is when they have something that is of concern to them that they're no longer happy with. And that's gonna be different for different people. For some patients, it's when they're young, in their 20s or 30s, and so for some patients, it's not until they're older, later in life. The time is right when it's right for you. One of the most important things that patients tell me prompts them to come see me is when they feel like what they're seeing in the mirror is not the way they're feeling inside. The reflection they see in the mirror is not a reflection of how they're feeling on the inside and they want those two to match up better. I advise patients to feel comfortable and confident seeing a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon for cosmetic procedures related to the face and neck because those are individuals who have specialized training exclusively on the face and neck. They are board certified and they can be trusted to take care of patients in a professional and competent manner as related to the face and neck. The first visit for a patient is all about me getting to know the patient, their concerns, what their life is like, to help us understand the type of procedure that would be best suited for them, or perhaps no procedure at all. It's really important to understand the motivation behind the patient, and just to get to know the patient and see, are there particular areas of concern to them? Do they have global concerns? Do they really just want my advice on things they can do to improve their appearance. Some patients are nervous when they first come to see me, and so we spend a little time just talking and get to know one another. Other patients have very specific concerns when they come in, and so we just address those specific concerns. So I really tailor it to the patient themselves and spend a great deal of time getting to know the patient and letting the patient know me. I stress to the patient that it really is bi-directional for both of us to get to know each other because we're gonna be forming a relationship. We're very excited about the services in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery that we provide at Johns Hopkins. We pride ourselves on bringing to patient care not only our clinical expertise, but also our research expertise and our teaching expertise the tripartite mission of Johns Hopkins Medicine. So patients find when they come to us that not only are they getting cutting edge clinical care that's based on evidence-based medicine, but they're also contributing to training of our future care providers and they find the experience, particularly when they're able to be part of a, a research study perhaps, that they really are not only helping themselves, but they're getting the experience of being part of advancing the field for forward in a very exciting way. So we feel like at Johns Hopkins we have something really unique and special to offer our patients. They get the best clinical results, but they're truly part of something greater.